Hello again, interwebs. Welcome back. My name is Tethys, and today we're continuing our playthrough of Stardew Valley. Last episode was mostly just kind of getting started on the game. So now we are just going to quickly poke around here for a moment. Because I want to see if there are any worms running around. Because sometimes they have treasures in them. Like, uh, like... Oh, do I not have a bag? I guess I don't have a bag. I could have swore I had a bag. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we have a, uh, we picked up a lost book for the library, so we're gonna go and quickly throw that in, and then we're gonna run down to, actually, let's run down to the beach first. Because Willy is there. This guy. I imagine he has the fishing rod for us. Heard there is a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I'm still trying to unwind for a month out on the salty seas. Big haul, sold a lot of good fish, finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. That's an expensive ass rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Da -da -da -da! There's a good water out in the valley. All kinds of fish. Yeah, Michelle's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. If it smells, it sells. I imagine it does. Now we go off to the library. Ooh. Pick that up and pick that up. And pick that up. I can't pick up that, because I don't have space. Need to save up some money for an inventory expansion. So that would be extremely useful. But first... Yo. Brought a book. Oh, it's already been put in. This is a book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors than dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Happy animals produce higher quality products. Tips on fertilizing. Use fertilizer to improve quality, reduce workload, or hasten crop growth. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Keep the area directly around your new sapling clear, or else it may not grow properly. Crops will also die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow in multiple seasons. Example, corn. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested with the scythe. Okay. Good to know. Hello. Oh, Penny. Meh. Oh. I uh, don't think I've talked to this guy. This little guy. Vincent. This does not talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yep, totes okay. He'll hardly ever see me. Uh, hi. Hello. Uh, actually, before I go back to the farm, I would like to take a look at the store and see how much it's gonna cost to get that inventory expansion. 2000, so not too bad actually. So let's quickly run back home. Actually, uh, there we go, E. That's what it is. Crafting. I need 50 wood. Alright, that'll take two seconds to grab. So let's go and get some wood for a box. And put some stuff away and go do what I like to do, which is basically mining. I find that, that is usually one of the best ways to get money. 
especially early game. Give me all that wood. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Yay! And drop. And I like to put the boxes out here. This is where I usually am most of the time. Don't need a scythe, don't need the watering can, or the hoe, or the axe. And we are good to go. Okay, so the mine is apparently not open yet. So I decided what we're gonna do when I actually have the right item. Actually, let's do this while I'm here. We're going to do some decorating. I wanna get a cobblestone path set up. Ooh, I got a geode. Local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden. Sometimes it's it's just another stone, so unfortunately, you don't always get good things out of it. But at the moment, it's the only way to get anything. Once we get into the mine, we'll be able to get um, more stuff more frequently. Okay. Now. Cobblestone path. Lay that down. I was going to be like, I should be able to put that there. Okay. Still need some more stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Around there. Let's say about eleven. And that'll get from the house to the little pathway in. And then we'll need to figure out how much we need for the garden, because I'm also going to fence that off. I'm almost thinking like another almost 20 or something like that. Whoops. Keep dropping rocks into the water. Almost got enough. Isn't strong enough. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Hmm. Coal. Oh! Never mind. I lied about not being able to go mining. Holy crap. There's copper. And geode rocks. Starting to feel exhausted. Indeed I am. And leave this stuff for now, but we got some. That's cool. I haven't used this, uh, this layout for the farm before, so this is also really cool to explore around on and find that there's definitely stuff worth getting. And it is getting quite late. But I want to get this done first. Alright. cobblestone all the way to there. Cool. And then... Oh, I didn't quite want to do that. Um, if I... Okay, good. 
didn't totally drain my stamina, which is good. And look at that, we have just one piece of cobble left. And with that said, on to the next day. Pickaxe proficiency. And now it is raining, which means I do not need to water the plants. Hello! Not, I've noticed you've been breaking some rocks up and finding ore, that's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around here, I want you to have them. Ah yeah! Learned how to craft a furnace! Allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tools upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Heading home, take it easy. Sweet! Keep finding cool stuff on my backpack, it's full. Does that sound like you? Yeah, it does. Unfortunately, I ain't got no money. Now, we need an axe. And let's look at what it needs for the furnace. 20 copper ore and 25 stone. Okay, now, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, wooden fence. Because I would like block off the garden if I can, just so that it's nice and organized, and it doesn't get covered in grass again. So, 5, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 14. I can't count. I went to school, I swear I did. Alright, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, 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 here. I forgot to do the corners. And then it's 10 for a gate, but I'm not worried about a gate. That's only if we need, uh, if we have animals. We don't have those to worry about right now, so we just need the Ziffor corners. One, two, three, four. This is how we go. And now it looks really good. And we can always extend that out later if we want. Now, we've got two copper. And we need 20 for a furnace. So, let's work our ways back to where we saw those copper and geodes before. Get out of my way, grass. No! No! Yeah. And we got an actual braid. Blade. Braid. Blade. Grass in the way. Two copper ore. Not gonna get enough here, but. Tis a start. We'll get a pretty decent amount, I think. So we're already at nine. And we've got two back in the storage. Ugh, we're like four short. Now the reason I am clearing off all the stone here is because when it regenerates after a certain amount of days, 
every open space here chooses between being a certain amount of stone, geode, or ore nodes. So if I have any stone in the way, it will prevent something from something possibly better from spawning. We don't want to do that. What's my energy? It's pretty low. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of this, which really sucks. Oh, just barely. Awesome. And unfortunately, that ends the day, too. Because until I get to um, the mine, I will be missing out on some stamina boosts. And actually, I think I don't get the stamina boost until way later, but regardless, it's still... you're missing. I'm missing out on it right now, which does suck. Um, we don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need those, don't need that. Don't need that. Hold on to that. So that we can at least get some... money rolling in. And back to beds we go. Wild seeds. Can't argue, that'll take us up to almost 1k. And our parsnips, I think is what they're called, are turning out quite nicely. Let's quickly go and refill our watering can. Watered. We'll go poke around here and see if we can find more copper ore. Because it would be even better if we could find enough to make a furnace and then copper um, copper bars so we can upgrade our items or our tools. I mean. I think that cave's empty, if I remember right. Yep. It doesn't get filled up until, like, later, and then somebody, uh, one of the, um, townies comes and asks if he can put, uh, a certain experiment in there. And it's, like, bats, and they drop fruit that you wouldn't normally get during certain seasons, or... Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. Okay then. Guess we're getting haunted. Hopefully. Ah! Crap. That is blocking my way. Oh! Well, we had one copper ore respawn. So we're three away from being able to make a furnace. Now, that takes us down where we can purchase animals. Uh, crap. Okay, we gotta hack our way through. There we go. And of course we can't get up there. But that will be too easy. So we gotta go up and around. And there's a lot of wood. 
thing. And let's see. I can make seed stuff, I think, is what it said. Wild seeds. Wild horseradish, daffodil, leek, and dandelions. Well, got a daffodil. And it's just, it's random between the four, I think, that'll uh, end up getting grown. Another good place to look for the items are up here. Sometimes they'll end up spawning here too. What's that? Oh, it's just flowers. It's locked. Okay, so we're not going in there. Oh. Yep, there we go. Daffodil. by the beach. For someone quite um, put together, I'm surprised we live here. What's this? 300 pieces of wood. Alright, well, got a new project then, I guess. But first, we'll grab all of the little items. How much? Okay, we're not going to be able to get all the wood today, but we'll work on it. I think... I'm hoping these, um... Items sell for a decent amount. Boop, 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 boop. Eh, why not? And drop that off, and that off, and that off. Bring that so the pile is good. Alright. Off to chop. Butterflies that go flying when we smack this. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna take quite a bit to get all that wood. If we're only getting like 20 per 20 hits. per 15 about. So, if we're lucky, we'll be able to finish off at least 100. And then, we'll end up having to go to bed for the day. I'm starting to feel exhausted. But we managed to finish off the hundred. So let's go to bed. What's this? And see what we end up with. Eh, can't complain. 185, better than nothing, but... Oh, ah. We are going to end it here for today, so thanks for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, as well as hit the subscribe button so that you get updated when I post more videos like this. This has been Stardew Valley, and thanks for watching. Bye!